Okay, so I am wrapping up installing my brakes and brake lines and I got to the gear legs and I'm just going to start running the gear of the uh, brake lines from the fitting through the tab where I'll use a Dell clamp here and a Dell clamp here and then I needed to know how much excess line I'm going to bring out for my brake caliper. So that brought me over to getting the brake calipers out and going through them and examining the parts and seeing what I needed to do to make all that happen. This is the Grove 66152 brake caliper. Also got the wheels with that kit. So I'm looking at the torque plate here. And one thing I've been, I noticed that there's some cellophane or uh, like a clear tape over these two holes and if you look closer there's a bushing in there these holes are 3 8 of an inch and this is a 5 16 bushing so I was going through the instructions from Grove and looking at the installation on how to uh, put the uh, brake assembly torque plate on here it doesn't say anything about these holes and it doesn't say anything about these bushings so I called Grove and I asked him about this I learned a little bit first thing they did was ask me what kind of an aircraft I was building I told them it was a Bearhawk and she said well we have instructions here that tell us that if you're uh, using this kit on a Bearhawk you should have all you should have four holes with a 5 16 bushing and that when I asked her I said well there's actually six holes she goes no you don't use all six you just use four so just use the best four because you're gonna run into problems with poking through here and hitting the gear and so you're gonna use some holes probably what I'll do is this one this one I'll talk about this here in a minute and some holes over here so that I can get a so that I've got uh, attach my nut on the back here so that was the one thing I learned. Uh, I don't need to use all six of the holes, although I'll use as many as I can just for just to have it for peace of mind. But I'm short two bushings. So there's or actually four total. So they're sending me the bushing. Here's the caliper, it's straightforward. So far I haven't run any issues with that. Right now this is just about the, the uh, torque plate. Alright, so a three eighths hole, five sixteenths. So now what I've found out also, here's another, the other gear leg, is that there's no holes drilled. We have to drill these ourselves. And what I learned was we want to orient this torque plate so the caliper is 90 degrees to the ground. So I did that. I mounted this on the, on the fuselage and I took a square and I've got my marks here so I'm lined up. Where I need to be. But how am I going to keep these holes lined up? That was my next challenge. All right. If this is a 3 8 inch hole, I just happen to have some 3 8 bushings here. But the on the the OD is 3 8. The ID was smaller. So I drilled this out. I drilled it out to 5 16 So now this is going to be my guide will be the guide for me to drill and then of course I've clamped these torque plates oh one other thing if this torque plate goes on it's loose it's not a snug fit so when you get it on here you have to not only square this up so that you're parallel to the ground but you got to get that thing dead center because you don't want it to be off all right so I did that with these clamps and so, so this is centered, I've got an even gap all the way around on both sides. And I'm gonna use this guide or this bushing that I've drilled out 5 16 to um, run my holster. But here's the next problem. Look at my drill. I can't get in there. So what I have to do with this I gotta get a longer bit. I guess they've got shorter ones than this, but the supply house I went to only had these 12 inches. So 
Uh, this will fit into there. I can drill this now. I can have my holes perfectly lined up. I'll just move this bushing to the next hole and then all the way around until I get all the holes drilled that I want. So there it is. It's a little bit, a little bit more than I was going to be able to explain on the blog. So uh, I wanted to write that. Oh, by the way, if you're looking at this, I, I this is just primer. I just mounted a, a little step here for uh, when I'm, when fueling. I can get up onto the tanks without having a ladder. I'm do the same thing over here on this one too. So got your rear step for getting into the cabin, but there's not a step here for helping you get up to the tanks. So yeah, it's more weight, but I think it's a convenience. All right.